Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. Mr. Slate, he hold he head in he hand. Don't care to make jolly on the sea or land. Invitation to party on big steamship. Give him pen size ten, make he quiver he lip. But the lady say, Lord, she all aglow. To formal dress party she yearn to go. To wear flower in hair and her beauty so clear. She'll convince Mr. Slate, even drag him by ear. <laughs> you want to lay me odds, King? When a woman get the chance to be radiant in the moonlight, Mr. Slate, is nothing and no one going to stop her? I'm not going on that boat. Sailor can be radiant all by herself. I'll stand on the shore and watch her go on and off. <laughs> there will be many handsome fellows aboard to observe same from cheek to cheek. Oh, there you are, sailor. Where have you been? Where do you think? Renting you a monkey suit, complete with white tie and shirt to match. It wasn't easy. You're a size 42 monkey. 42? I'm a size 38. Dreamer. Here, take a look at it. Oh, go get the deposit back, sailor. I'm not going. Look, dear boy, twice a year the SS Huron ducks at Havana, throws a big formal shipboard party. Twice a year the captain sends us an engraved invitation. And twice a year I raffle it off. What are you trying to do, deprive me of pocket money? This time we're going. Not me, not in that suit. If King has to strap you into it and I carry you slung over my shoulder. Look at it. Think how slim you look in it. Hmm. You think so, huh? Emilio, the tuxedo renter, swore it. You think I'll look sharp in it, huh? What else? You should have seen what it did for the dummy in the window. Can't you turn this faucet off, Gomez? I have tried, senor, for so many years. Every time I come to Havana and stay in this room, I exert myself against the faucet. But neither, still it drip. It annoys me, like so many things. This room, I have you... explained, I have explained. Emilio lets me sleep in his room at the back of his clothes renting shop for free when I come from the boat. Uh, where's your friend Emilio now? Can't sabe. Who knows, senor? He will not return, perhaps, for hours. Well, he ought to do something about that faucet. Uh, Gomez. It is no use, senor Martin. I have changed the mind. I will not tell you. But it's so easy. Your being purser on the Huron makes it a simple matter. Simple? However dishonorable. I will explain. After I put the safe combination of the boat on a piece of paper, at my shoulder became my conscience. Gomez. Senor, why are you doing this thing of a gun to me? Where's the paper? Senor, senor, you're a loco. Where is it? In front. In the shop, I place it there in a dummy's coat while my conscience and me were at battle one against the other. Senor! Ah! Think how lucky you are, Gomez. You'll never be able to hear that faucet again. Let's go, Amy. Did you get it? It's in the store in the coat pocket on a dummy. What happened? He's dead. I'll bet no two school teachers had a more exciting Caribbean cruise. I like it. Well, this shop looks like it had one customer a year. John, there's no dummy in here. One over there in the window. Now, there's no coat on it. It's bare. I should have beat it out of him. I should have dragged him down here. Well, maybe the coat was rented. All right, let's try it that way. Now, to whom? Wait a minute. Here's a book here, a ledger. John, look. To Sailor Duval, address Shannon's place. Mm. Rented one formal attire. Come on, Amy, we'll get that coat if we have to tear it off someone's dead body. You 
ready, Slate? Be with you in a minute. You've been posing in front of that mirror for a half hour now. Believe me, kid, there's no more you can do. Not with your material. Ah, you look beautiful, Sailor. I wish I was as pretty as you. I bet you say that to all... I mean it. You're beautiful. Takes my breath. Come here. Oh, aren't they lovely together, John? Just like the couple on the billboards advertising Havana. Would you think two mousy school teachers like us could ever be so uninhibited, Amy? Work it out together, kids. Be with you in a minute. Now, bend me back a little, Slate, so we live up to the publicity. Slate? Oh, then you would be Mr. Slate Shannon. Just the man Amy and I have been looking for. Oh, and such a man. Well, I tilt my bifocals a wee bit and... Oh, he's such a man. Amy, a tropical cruise really makes you shed, doesn't it? Pay no attention to him, Mr. Shannon. John's in manual training. I'm in civics. Two lonely school teachers on a romp. Takes John longer to forget. <laughs> and you've heard Shannon's places where you do that. But we'll have to separate you. You and the girls dorm, Amy. And you, John, in the boys. Oh, I'm afraid you've leaped to a conclusion. It's only that there's been a mistake. You went slumming and lost your way, is that it? The museums are, well, uh, uh, hmm. Where are the museums, sailor? The mistake is that you're wearing the tails that I rented for myself. Now look quick, sailor. Am I doing that? The shopkeeper Emilio gave them to this lady by mistake. I brought you another coat. Uh, please exchange it with me. But John wants to look nice for the party aboard the Huron. Well, that's where we're going. Oh. We'd like to help you, Amy, but it took so much sweat and tears to get Slate into that coat, I doubt Give it. Give to me. It doesn't belong to you. Hey, what's the matter, Buster? You got the fever? Take it off. Hey! You tore it. What is it with you, school teacher? You got a thing for monkey suits? John, leave him alone. Let's get out of here. It'll make you sad, Shannon, not giving me that coat. John, you gone out of your mind? Please forgive him. He's... Come, John. The night air will bring you to your senses. I'm afraid John's the excitable type. You're a fool, Amy. That coat's worth $50,000 to us, and you... Don't fret, dear. We'll get it. You heard us say they were going to the party. Calm yourself, John. Calm yourself. It'll be gay. <laughs> Jeep runs pretty nice, huh, Sailor? Like a doll. There's no other way to go to a formal party. Helter-skelter on a bucket seat. The wind whistling by... Take your hair out of my eyes, Sailor. I'm just trying to figure out why that school teacher wanted this coat. Why he... Yeah, I wonder what that car is doing parked across the road. Why don't you just go around him? Not enough room. Well, maybe he needs some help. Let's find out. All right, Things a girl has to go through to do a poker. Hey, Slate, that man slumped over the wheel. Yeah. Hey, mister. Oh, I told you he needed help. Hey, mister, what's wrong with you? Hey, give me a hand with him, sailor. Wait a minute. Here comes somebody. Maybe he's from this car. Hello there. You know anything about this man? Yeah. Purser off the SS Huron docked this morning. What's the matter with him? Dead? Newly dead. Oh, now, don't nod your head sadly, people. A bullet did it to him. Got mixed up in a hassle about a coat. Get back to the car, sailor. She stays. Offer of that coat, mister. Give it to him, Slate. Sure. Ugh, and I thought I was going to have trouble. You lost my whole evening. Give me the coat. Yeah. Here, right in your face. <laughs> You know, sailor, I'm really getting attached to this coat just because so many people want it. Let's go dancing, kid. Well, we finally made it, Slate. What a nice party. You couldn't have kept me away. Hey, look, sailor. Yeah, I see him. John, the school teacher. He's zeroing in on you. Go dance with him. Find out what makes him so neurotic about rented suits. What'll you do? Oh, I've got my eye on a little number name of Amy. Hey, she's tricky without the bifocals. Yeah, she is. Maybe we'd better all stick together and form a square dance. Dozy do on your own time, sailor. Bye now. 
Care to dance, Amy? Oh, I'd love it. Where are you? (laughs) What? My own pathetic little joke, Mr. Shannon. I'm so nearsighted without my glasses. Quite lovely, too. (laughs) You dance like a girl who it doesn't matter if she wears bifocals. Oh, when I get home, I'm going to put what you said under my pillow to cherish on the cold winter old maid evenings. I wouldn't say that. I bet when John, the manual training teacher, finds a proper dress suit, he'll marry you like crazy. It still disturbs you that he wants the one you're wearing? I met another guy who wanted it. Guy who killed a man just so as I'd stop long enough for him to strip the coat off my back. I'm a lucky girl, Slate. How? Lucky you're not dead, too. But how long can a girl stay lucky? Whirl me, Slate. Whirl me. And that's the way my place is furnished, Miss Duvall. I made all the furniture myself. Oh, it's so refreshing to talk to a man who's so handy with a cross-cut saw, Mr. Martin. Especially standing against a ship's rail. Please, there's something I must ask you. About a coat. About just that. How are we going to get that coat for Mr. Shannon? Oh, Slade would give it to you if you'd let him know why you want it. Tell me. I'll tell him. I'm afraid I can't. Why not? Do I look like a girl who can't be trusted by a manual training teacher? Sitting here in this deck chair and listening, Martin, I'd say get rid of her. You need me? Come here, Ross. Recognize this man, Miss Duvall? Sure. He got hit in the face with a coat. He kills Miss Duvall. Don't you, Ross? It's happened. What about her, Martin? Take her to the cabin. Uh Uh-huh. Keep her alive for a while. Maybe I can trade her for a coat pocket. Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. This stateroom please you, baby? I'm trying to make up my mind. Silk drapes, beautiful furniture, crystal chandelier... Tell me something, uh... Ross, you can call me that. And stay away from that porthole, sis. It don't lead to no place but the ocean. What's in Slate's coat? The combination to the ship's safe. The teachers and me are going to knock it over. I only tell you because when it happens, you won't be no place at all. Can I have my pocketbook? Sure, take it. I can enjoy watching a lipstick job. Thanks. You know, a funny thing happened this evening. Slate tore his coat. I mended it for him. And while I was playing nip and tuck with a thimble, something fell out of it. A piece of paper. Hey, that's what we're after. A piece of paper with four numbers on it. In two columns. This piece of paper. The combination. Here, give it to me. No, you don't. Uh Uh-uh, Ross. You knucklehead. You tossed it out the porthole. So help me. How much money in that safe, honey? Lots. That's why I'm going to blast you where you're standing. I can remember those numbers, Ross. You need me, honey? Sure you need me. You and me? (laughs) Golly, we're mischievous, huh? Devil may care, honey. Impish. It's just as the travel folders told me it would be. I stand on a moonlit deck, watch Havana's lights glow in the water, a strong, dangerous man at my side. I found romance on the all-inclusive tour. And that was pretty, Amy. I'll get poetic about the tail coat I'm wearing, make it scan why a purser got a bullet through his heart, why... Well, I didn't even raise my hand. Hi, Teacher John. You wanted to know why a man was killed? Yeah. Yeah, it bothers me. I'll tell you in simple phrases. He annoyed us. The coat, Mr. Shannon. Take it off. 
Give it to me. Ah, you're cruel, Teacher John. I'd catch my death a cold. The correct usage is, you'll catch your death. No descriptive phrases. Yeah, I always stunk in grammar. Where's Sailor? I've left her in the hands of a man who makes a specialty of killing. Matriculated in it. Where is she? When you rid yourself of the coat, I'll... Sure, sure, John, boy. You'll... You'll... I'll rid myself. You'll... That's right, Teacher. I'll... That's what I'll do. Your boyfriend swim, Amy? <laughs> Like a fish. A rackety ray for him. Show me, teacher. Hey. Hey, look at him. Fella could take lessons. Huh? If you're curious about the feeling in your back, it's a gun slate. It'll go away after I've gone through your pocket. Gee, this is adult education. The things a fella picks up. Tell me what you're looking for, Amy, and we'll play at twosies. Oh. It's not there. What have you done with it? It's not there. What's not there? We've been fools. Idiots. Like children. It's not there. <laughs> oh, don't cry, baby. It's a big world. There must be other fellas' pockets you can frisk. Here, let me hold the gun so you can blow your nose. Then we'll go find Sailor, huh? You people must have lost your way. The dancing's done. How'd I do, honey? I liked it. Then I did good. Close the door. Hello, you beautiful safe you. Okay, baby, name the numbers. Take it easy. Now get me flustered. Okay, doll. Numbers. Hey, what was that? I dropped my purse. Tough. Tell me numbers. Let's see. Uh... Come on, come on. The first number was 16. Right or left? I don't know. Just the four numbers on the paper. The first was 16. We'll try it to the right. 16. Then what? 35. Okay. 35. And? 22. Oh, happy, happy day. Right, 22. The last number, honey? 43, I think. Think. Don't think with me, honey. Not with me. I got a heater. Says forty-three. It... That's my baby. Left forty-three. It don't open, honey. You're gonna die, honey, right now, honey. You could have done something wrong. On a safe? On a saxophone, maybe. Not a safe. Close your eyes, honey. Forty-eight. Eh? Forty-eight. That's what the last number was. Not forty-three. Well, we'll try. Ooh, money, 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 money. Take a fistful, lady. Mm, I like oh, it. Oh, pockets full. Do it. Then we'll tiptoe off this tub like a seafaring Arab. And drink a toast to a life of crime. Ain't it fun? Sit down, Amy. Why did you bring me here? Shannon's place has never entertained a school teacher like you, dear. No, I've got you. I'll never let you go. Because you've fallen in love with me? No, because you add class to the joint. You'll keep me? Only until you tell me what they did with Sailor. After that, it's between us. You know. <laughs> you made a mistake, Slate. Now I'll never tell you. I could twist your arm, slap it out of you. Try it, Slate. I won't cry out. You'll see. Go on. Try it. My mom told me never to strike a girl who wears bifocals. Slate Shannon speaking. Yeah. Sure. Sure, LaSalle. I'll come to the pokey. Mind if I bring a girl? Ah, oh, now that's sweet of you. Thanks, LaSalle, pal. You won't take me to the police. Oh, well, I won't... Sure you will, Amy. Because I'll forget what Mom told me if you don't. <laughs> This thing of coat snatching, I do not understand, Shannon. It's not in my line. Try hard, LaSalle, I told you. Manual training fellow walked in with Amy here, tried to tear it off my back. And at the party, Amy pulled a gun on me, then Sailor... Please, Senor Shannon. What little games you play with yourselves does not concern me. Oh, you're so perceptive, Senor LaSalle. Hmm? It was only a practical joke John and I were playing. Your topics make us feel like children all over again. Yeah, I remember. I took the teeth braces off one of you. Which brings us to the matters of violence. Violence one. 
the dead purser off the SS Uran. I phoned him into you. We will never forget your courtesy. Put in your claim for your nickel. Violence, too. The man who was fished out of Havana Harbor with a shrunken suit and a galloping pneumonia. <laughs> that would be John Martin. I wish I could have seen him. <laughs> and the violence, three. The violence done to the safe of the ship SS Uran. Done by the hand of Senorita Duval. You're crazy. Sailor's done a lot of things. Safe cracking's not one of her... <laughs> hey, hey, maybe that's one she kept from me. Oh, that girl. Uh, do not laugh, Shannon. Your Miss Duval is in grave trouble. Her purse was found at the scene of the crime. This purse. It is hers, no? You can buy one like it in every dollar store in Havana. It is hers. Everything in it pointed to Senorita Duval. The perfume, the lipstick, the no money, and her name written on every loose piece of paper in the bag. That's my sailor. Find her, Shannon. Bring her to us. If we find her first, I will not answer for the consequence to her. Adios, senor. Senorita. <laughs> Ross's place beyond the pier. He's there all right. The lights are on. Come on, I'll give you a hand out of the boat. You understand why I let you bring me here, don't you? Because your girlfriend robbed a safe and ran out on you. With a thug you hired. I want to see the man about a girl and you want to see him about some money. That makes us friends for life. Your teacher's pet slate. I'll clap your blackboard erases sometime. Well, if it ain't Amy and Shannon, come on in. You been expecting us, Ross? Sure. The fireplace is all aflame and the refreshments are ready. Come in, honey cake. I guess they're here. Hi, Slate. Cozy, isn't it? Hi, Amy. Where's the money? In four neat bundles. You, you, her, and me. To each a bundle. What about John? It's been bandied about he's too wet to handle money. <laughs> That's right. You know, the rumor's liable to get around that he killed that purser. Let's see the money. Get it, honey cake. Anything you say, Boopsie. Everybody stand in line. Ah, this is a new sailor. Boopsie showed me how to get fun out of life. All you have to do is no numbers, open a safe, and the money just spills out at you. The things my Boopsie knows. Buffsy, my arm on your shoulder, my hand in yours. You're a better man than I am. Don't reach for anything, just the dough. Something bothers me about this slate. What? All that money. It doesn't have to be shared so many ways. Does it, Ross? What are you talking about? Amy, don't be crazy. You can... There's your new fellow, Mr. Val. Weep. That's all I'll give you. Now, take it easy, Amy. We came here for this slate. Look, you don't have to shoot me. You can have my part of the money. Mine, too. Four bundles. You can have all of them. Here. Half is your slate. No, here. Take it. I said take it. Oh! Oh! Get it out of the fire, Amy. Oh, my money. It'll burn. Oh, please help me. Help me get my money. Yeah, just let me have that gun. Come on, Amy. Oh, it'll burn. No, no, it won't. Thanks for the gun. <laughs> Tell her not to break her heart, Slate. The dough's just toasted. Here. Here. Now you can get me out of here. You burn your hands? My fingernail polish is running. That's tough. Let me ask you something. You dropped that pocketbook because you wanted someone to look for you, didn't you? I knew you'd find me. Let's go home. You've been gone a long time. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. Bold Venture.